Fox and yeah, of course. I'm so tight. That's Blues so is not opting to put on the hat. He's opting to take out the he, gun. He had a crown phase. He had a crown phase. I remember his crown phase. I think he still has it in the pocket. But the fox. We can't I, say the kill stage, but Echo Fox. Of course, of course. Now we've seen this matchup before. It's Fox versus Wolf. Fox has his advantages in his speed, and Wolf has his advantages in his buttons and kill throw. So. Let's see how both players, like, you know, would use their knowledge of their characters to see how they could take each other's stops. It could be even either way. I think this is an even matchup in general. In, like, I feel like the, the approach from the players to their characters is going to be what makes this, like, a particularly interesting case of Fox versus Wolf. Because it's not often that we're treated to seeing to kill Sage's <laughs> approach to ultimate. And in general, like, he's going to play a lot more towards, like, figuring his spacing around his opponent. And even Dark Luis, he's going to play a bit more intricately. Usually he's good at stringing together his hits. He'll go for more unorthodox uh, stuff. Yeah, like that up right there. That was pretty unorthodox. Good parry. And he's also going to use that double jump, like, side and uh, down B just to turn himself around, too. Pretty interesting things that most wolves don't do since they just, like, play like this. Where just, like, they, they see stuff and they wait for it and they go hit. The patience from Sage right there. He's, he's waiting until it's his turn to play. Trade into the back air. Caught the neutral get up off the ledge. Nowhere to go. <laughs> Good on both players right now. They're playing amazing. Yeah, I like that Like Sage is trying so heavily to bait in Dark Blues. But Blues is giving him that respect where it's like, Alright, I know you're waiting to blow me up just for pressing forward. So I'm going to take my sweet time with it. Yeah. Both players know like each other's strengths. And they're playing a game of respect. Until like one of them gets a hit, then it's disrespect harm. But like, I feel like any other type of player, and Blues would just get ran over by them, because a lot of new bloods don't know about that respect. They see the opportunity to press a button, and it becomes like a Mario Party mini game. <laughs> His buttons galore. Yeah, it's like, and if you're just going wildly on, on just like licking the the crap out of your GameCube control, oh, what was that? All right, buddy. That's then an you're just gonna get stomped. But yeah, up smash out of shield, not gonna kill. Fox does have to fax their back air. Yeah, oh, no. Significantly less it. threatening there. Got the nair though. Loses the control. I love his spacing oh. with forward tilt too, but. The spacing on his dash attack was phenomenal as well because he got like a round Sage's up smash read. And killed him for it. All right, Sage is doing something right now that I want like every player to implement: walking, <laughs> walking, running. Like not committing just a complete running forward and jumping all the time. There's so much merit to being able to just slowly approaching your opponent because you're able to fight back that ground deficit that you might have by not being on stage true, without true. really like hard committing to anything. He also like helps you like see things, get around them, you know, get get your quick kills too. Speaking you walk away and then, like come with that dash attack and then there you go. Throws your opponent off. Right, I feel like a lot of players, like even here at home, they have this like trigger reflex. Where like they see something moving, they see a projectile, they see the character move, they see some sort of particle effect. And that's their green light. That's their sign to just go and get their game going. Meanwhile, you're just moving along, you're just shield. But you're still holding block, really. I like that dash away from stage there after you got his follow-up. Trying to bait out something else. Took it right back from Blues, keeping it really close. They're playing on the ledge for a dangerous game with up smash. This is gonna sound weird, but I feel. Oh, Whoa! never mind, never mind, never mind. I hold <laughs> my thoughts. He's chopped him, man. But it still got the leggy to the absolute degree. All right. He immediately got rid of his story in Kalos with that. That's a. I don't know if that's better now. The the. Fox forward smash the ledge thing because it's like I'm trying to figure out like stopped right there just like, just land it. I'm trying yeah, to I'm figure out what that even would have like caught normally. I guess he just assumed that Blues wasn't pressing a button like he There's was just chill. that kind of like neutral get up too. I remember and Maybe. rolls some rolls. Oh neutral color. All right, so the Joker coming out. This is kind of more of what I expected, and at the very least, a very good pick into a spacey. I feel like this is Blues' most practiced character. His knowledge of the character is uh, pretty fast. 
It is mostly welcome too. I feel like if anything, Joker will be able to like out gimmick Fox. If that makes sense. It's like a lot of silly things that the character has at his disposal. He just needs his backpack on though. Like, yeah. He has, to, he has to get it in order to start, you know, killing Fox super early too. That's what happens when Joker fights a species. The second he gets the uh, arson. <laughs> It, it kind of feels like it's current for you once you get to off stage. With that being said, I feel like Sage's approach to playing Fox might actually like do really well against eliminating Arsene if he ever gets a chance to play. Because like he plays really laser heavy, he goes for a lot of grabs. In general, he's poking his opponent Ooh, a lot. Ooh, that was sick. Like tr trying to poke away at Joker helps a lot, not just with keeping up with the damage, but getting rid of Arsene quicker. There you go. Uh, accrued damage coming in. Holding. Yeah. That was, in, that was. He didn't die for that either. That was good. Like he held counter on the platform just to take whatever he can get and get all that arsenal meter. Ooh. Now he's just smoking him now. He's just. I like that though. A lot of people don't realize how Joker, like his regular dare, kind of nice. With the forward smash, has a little bit of meter. See. It's good on the Joker pick too because, like I mentioned before, with Fox with Fox versus Wolf, it's it's sort of even, but Fox is still faster. So you just gotta watch out how you like recover and they'll get Fox off stage first. With Joker, however, he's like just as fast and if not faster with better tools than Fox, so that he can like get like good pressure, like jump around him or play around his uh his advantages. Right. And then get Arsene and kill him. <laughs> like, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, like that. Kind of sauced. He got, he got, he got kinda lost. <laughs> Still the best windscreen in the game. It is. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad it hasn't gotten old. Because that was like my worst fear. Is like, all right. That you're just going to get tired of hearing it over and over again. But like, it's like, those it's first couple of months with Joker. <laughs> and I was like, yo, everyone's winning this character. This character is amazing. This is going to get ridiculous. Oh, I love Joker, man. He's so cool. I love him. Every just, time. I, I can't get over Joker. It's just like any character that just like ends your life for like, like dumb shit. <laughs> like, that's my favorite in this game. <laughs> and they're fast, too. Smash 4 Sheep, love that character. Ooh, Ooh that's, a, that's a character I miss. Diddy? I actually really like Diddy. Like, I really like Diddy, but we don't got no Diddy's on the screen. Yeah. There was one Diddy that was here once. Oh, Chrom. Nice. I'm using their counterpick, the counterpick, the counterpick. Sage going to his favorite uh, Omega. Ooh, this one's comfy. I like this. It was his favorite song, too. We vibing, bro. We vibing. This is. My son understands the waves, man. Now this could change because I don't know if Blue's his experience with this matchup enough. This is kind of a screwy matchup, but it's actually really good for Joker. Especially while Big Boy out here is on the field. Because if he manages to get Krom off stage, Soaring Slash has no proper answer to Blue's staying at the ledge and just saying Tetrakarn. <laughs> He'd actually just counter until he keeps on pushing Sage far enough away that he just can't return to the stage with it. At the same time, if Sage gets his advantages first, he can kill Joker like before our can even come out. Right. Or, like here. Oh, oh, oh he that just was otherworldly DI. That, that's the big pop of damage right there. <laughs> <laughs> my son got two kids. A <laughs> 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 B out of shield. Nice. Quick little damage. Now, when you get this lead as prom, now you can just like chill out, do some stuff out of shield. Like he deals so much damage per hit that like it's kind of trivial. Oh, right there. That was crazy. All right. What a time. All right. He just activated Astro and this is like destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> like, Blues, please reconsider <laughs> these buttons, bro. It's hard because like you're stuck here on this platformless stage and now you gotta like get your your backpack back on, you know. But this guy's just swinging at you. Man's left for the office without his keys, without his wallet, forgot his phone, <laughs> didn't pack a lunch. A goddamn didn't mess. Get, didn't get a sip of his coffee. He's gonna slow it down here and you know get some quick arsen kills. Oh, well, hold on. Robbery in progress. Oh, I wanted to see it. Plenty of arsen meter too. 
He's just got to force the first soaring slash, and then it's easy bake after that. Sage playing extra slow right now. He's getting like, with his one hits. Not running and swinging. He doesn't need to. Because he just knows that he has lead here. But this could be bad for him. Oh, no. <laughs> if he had held down there just to go for the spike. <laughs> mad disrespectful. Ooh. He would have gotten it. He would have just been mad disrespectful. You're crazy! <laughs> You're both crazy and selfish! That's why no one's dead! Ooh, no jab back here. No chair. <laughs> Ooh, there nice. we go. There you go. That's the match. Do it again. Right there. there you go. Match of knowledge. He's dead. Remix. Alright, we're, go. we're good, we're good, we're good. For the second time he had no, no jump, so. It's only a matter of time though. One jab back here. Come on, get Ar get Arsen. You gotta steal this game, bro. Go play Smash 4. <laughs> this is actually a race to the finish now, because <laughs> yeah. it's like a little bit of rage behind Joker, and he's at halfway there with the rebellion meter. Sage swinging. It's like Blue's doing a good job of mixing his patterns. Ooh. The one hits all Sage needs. Oh, missed. Oh, he, he went a little far just so he can cut with the sword. <laughs> Ooh, an empty hop. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. I'm scared! Zero buttons! I'm scared! <laughs> Sage playing super patient here. Oh, so oh. spooked. Oh my god. No. Oh, this is all right, all right, all right. All right. Oh, no! And Good Arsene game. Sealed my hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's all he needed. <laughs> Ooh. Firm hand shakes both times, but that one interaction off stage, all Blues needed to seal the deal. Ooh.